Okay, let's have a look at this um, as we're progressing through through the exam paper. They're getting slightly, oh, slightly trickier to answer. Um, <coughs> let, me, let me just scroll down this one. British scientists have used bacteria to ferment glucose to produce the biofuel butanol. Write an equation for the fermentation of glucose to form butanol, carbon dioxide and water only. State one condition necessary to ensure the complete combustion of fuel in the air. Write an equation for complete combustion. Well, let's start the first bit first. All right. It, it can look um, it can look quite quite daunting. But let's have a nosy. First thing, fermentation of C6H12O6 will go off to. Now, there's the naughty bit. No oxygen. This is not aerobic respiration. Fermentation is all about anaerobic respiration. So we're going to form uh, butan or no. So let's do it. Uh, butan is four carbons. It's an alkane. So what we've got, uh, ten, 10 hydrogens. But one of them is attached to an OH plus water plus carbon dioxide. Okay, let's have a look. Now, what have we got here? Four carbons and butane. One all. Five carbons, including that one. I need six carbons in total to balance this out, so I only need two carbon dioxides. So I got four carbons here, and two carbons here, that's six. That's fine. Alright, let's look at the hydrogen. So I got ten here. Two here, that's 12. Well, we're fine there. We've got 12 hydrogens there. Let's take the oxygens. Uh, one oxygen here. Uh, two here, that makes three. Uh, what have we got? Oh, we haven't got two here. We've got four here. There's two molecules of carbon dioxide, so it's four, five, uh, six. Ah, and that's it. Six oxygens there as well. So there you go, C6H12O6, C4H9OH plus H2O plus 2CO2. Yeah, mm, bit tricky, but not bad. State one condition necessary to ensure the complete combustion of fuel in air. Um, lots of lots of oxygen. Could have that. Uh, Got to ensure it's mixed. You can have either one of those. Uh, it's mixed thoroughly. Because even if you've got plenty of oxygen, if the oxygen's on nowhere near your, your butane one oil, it's not going to burn very well. Okay. Write equation for the complete combustion of butane one oil and state why it can be described as a biofuel. All right, well, we've got C4, H9OH. I'm going to burn it so it's complete combustion with O2. And we're going to form carbon dioxide and water. So straight away, carbon dioxide, we're going to need four of them. Uh, water, well we've got ten hydrogens here, so we need five water molecules, so five times two is ten. Now we can deal with the oxygens. Eight oxygens here, five oxygens there, thirteen oxygens in total. Either that says thirteen. And over here, We've got to take an oxygen off because one, one oxygen is in that OH group, so it's 12 oxygens in total that we need. Because 12 of that, that, that one here will give us 13, which means 6 oxygen atoms, because 6, uh, six oxygen molecules, sorry, because 6 times 2 atoms give us 12 atoms in total. God, I was hope I got the atoms and the molecule walk out the right way around. But there's the complete combustion of butane 1 all. Okie dokie. Write an equation of the complete. Why can't it be described as a biofuel? Because a biofuel is produced, is a fuel produced, produced from renewable, and it has to be renewable, um, biological matter. Biological matter and resources. I think the word they want is resources, or the like. And what you'll find in your test textbook. Okay. Four marks. Nice.